a bold top by Joe podcast coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. Your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. What up, dude? Not much, man. It's been Long a while. Time, man. It's been a while, man. It's been yeah. a while. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Even though we talk like here and there. <laughs> Just, uh, no one's seen me for a while. So Yeah, dude. They've been asking about you. There's been a, a, a few people that are uh, be like, hey, where's Mofo at? You know? Oh, okay. Where'd he go? And I'm like, oh, he's doing his own thing, man. He's he's uh he's he's busy and our schedules are not matching up and yeah. we're trying to get together, but it's just like I'm working or I'm getting at this time or I'm doing other stuff and he's yeah. like doing other things. So it's like we're just gotta get the it's schedule. Just scheduling, right. man. Scheduling's yeah. hard. That yeah. Friday's a good day, but then it's hard too. You know, it's yeah. um I, I can get out early some days. Ninety percent of the time I get out early, but then there's something going on. I have yeah. something to do, or or I know you have to work some days, and then some days you get out early enough. I, it's just yeah. life, you know. Yeah, it it's, happens. It's, yeah, but yeah, there were uh, one of the shows. Uh, his, his name's Willie. He's uh, mm-hmm. we became really good friends, like the podcasting community and stuff like oh, that. Okay. And uh, the, the show is uh, the thing about us. So it's him and his wife, and they talk about relationships and stuff like that. Wow, dude, and I gotta uh, come yeah, out in that one. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a yeah, pretty good cool. one, dude. Yeah, and yeah. he asked me, he's like, "Yo, man, um, what? Uh, where's Mofo at?" And I'm like, "I was like, I don't know, man. We're just trying to figure out how how we can get a you know. It's get hard, together. dude. And you live on like, the other side. You live close, kind of. I mean, yeah. an hour and a half, maybe. Yeah. But it, it's just schedule wise, man. Um. And then I disappeared off of Instagram for a while. I know that was weird. I was like, yeah. All of a sudden, I was like, what the? What, what happened? I, I had and to take I a. Like, I had to take a break oh, from okay. the meme life. <laughs> and then I was Everyone, all, huh? good, good. No, sorry. no, all of a sudden, I was like, what the hell? And then you appeared, and I'm like, what yeah. the heck? I was like. <laughs> No, it was funny because uh, everyone was telling me like, hey, you know, why'd you get off? Did your wife catch you on something? This and yeah. that. I'm like, nah, dude, it's nothing like that. Like, it was funny because um, we went for uh, to Ireland and mm-hmm. uh, like I invited you, but you were you weren't able to go because of vacation yeah. stuff yeah. and um, went for my 40th birthday. Uh, mm-hmm. So it was like during after Christmas mm-hmm. uh, from the 28th and on. And I just kind of. You know, when you go on vacation, you just kind of want to relax and everything. Mm-hmm. And, um, hey, you know, the meme life, dude. I love the meme life. <laughs> so that was, just to get out of it. Yeah, I had to just get off of it because, you know, I, I wanted to go and enjoy myself. And uh, I guess like, you know, like my wife, everyone, you know, we had a bunch of friends coming with us, mm-hmm. uh, family, and they're just taking pictures and they're on the phone the whole time. I actually just let go of the phone and they noticed it. And because I was, I remember we went out to eat and they were just like wondering like, you know, oh, okay, he's not on the phone. Like, and I was just like, well, I'm enjoying my time with you guys, but I guess you guys are just too busy. And I finally kind of had to like set a point, like, yeah. like we're too much on it. Like I want to converse. I want to, you know, hang out. Yeah. I want to do this. We're miles away from home. Why not? You know? And yeah. I took a few pictures because, you know, I never even look back at my pictures sometimes once in a while I do, but it was just kind of like, you know, I, I kind of want to just like clear my head, do thing. And then it ended up being a three month thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I was just kind of like, cool, you know, and uh, you, you do need that. Like, I just noticed that getting off of it really like, I, I've always been a guy who does my stuff first, mm-hmm. but instead of sitting down and just being on the phone like for an hour or going to sleep, you know, you're on a, I'll be honest, my sleep, got, uh, my sleep got better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cause you know, at the end of the night, you're just like, oh shoot, you know, let me see, you yeah. know, and um, you're trying but, to lay down and unwind and you're yeah, all yeah. This stuff. yeah. And at the end of the day, it's just kind of it, and it's weird too, cause I don't see myself going to it like constant. Like yeah. I work, I do my work at work, and I'm not like, oh, someone messaged me, let me see what's up nah, here and there. Mm-hmm. You know, during lunch, I'll just pop a message here and there too. You know, I send you a bunch of memes and stuff. You yeah. know bunch of yeah. stupid videos it's hard but, because um, I, I have to be like on it all the time but mm-hmm. like i usually i'm like less on instagram because i am like on youtube and all this yeah. stuff and so it's like then i don't i don't get like the notifications so i have to uninstall the stupid app and then install it again and then i get the notification and then and it then gets all like, what yeah the heck is this so then I, something's up with it too i think because yeah. uh the other day i was um 
trying to message a friend on there. And it's like the only way I could get a hold of them, man. It was funny because uh, nothing was going through. Then finally, um, another buddy of mine's like, I think it's Instagram. Then three days later, my buddy texted me back. Hey, man, sorry. He goes, I just saw this. And I was like, no, nah, I go, don't worry about it. It was it wasn't too important, but it was something that's like, oh, cool. If I need yeah. it. But um, yeah, it's totally I don't know. You kind of just have a different perspective out of things again. I feel normal again. Yeah. Cause I'm not on it constantly, you know? And, yeah. uh, but I, I mean, it, I'm not going to say like I was hardcore addicted to it. It was just, uh, it, I'll say it was getting there, you know? Yeah. Um, and now I'm just like, eh, you know, cool. Uh, when it's there, it's there. And, uh, I'm not saying I get thing, more things done. I've always gotten things done. I mean, me and you, you know how we are. We just, mm-hmm. just do it and get it done. Go. Yeah. Next thing, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, after that, but the only thing that came back up on is, um, I, I just keep seeing like feminist stuff and misogynistic stuff, like the whole thing with Andrew Tate, dude. Yeah, that stuff but, is weird. It's weird, like, dude. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, like what to believe when it comes to Andrew mm-hmm. Tate, uh, because you know sometimes he said some like really smart stuff, and then sometimes he it was a little rough, and you were like, oh shit, you're like I would never say that, you know what I mean? You yeah, like, yeah. He's like sometimes he would have a point, and you're like, geez, that's a little rough, but. Dude, eventually, you know, with all the fame, I mean, eventually somebody is going to. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know uh, all this like sex trafficking charges and all this stuff. I mean, oh, like uh, the thing I, I just got into the loophole of it and I just want to see. And I remember when I left, I came back um, in January after vacation um i guess they arrested him supposedly yeah because of mm-hmm. sex trafficking and everything and then they let go of the people and mm-hmm. then there was no charges against them and they're just holding them against their will now and mm-hmm. they keep uh like um extending. renewing every yeah extending yeah. The, the the jail sentence but that they really don't have anything for them and um or uh, they don't have anything on them and mm-hmm. it's kind of just weird but I mean, you hear about these crazy stories, too, with other people. I think, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with them. I mean, I do believe some of the stuff he says is pretty cool, but uh, some of the stuff is kind of like, dang. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's your your own free speech, man. Whatever. Say whatever you want. You know, it's not going to hurt me. Doesn't if it's not going to affect me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm my own person. I believe my own ways. But it's just kind of weird that they just holding them. But you do hear stories like this. So yeah. either he got someone on something or yeah. they just really want to shut him up or right. maybe make him go broke. Maybe yeah. m- maybe he made someone go broke or something. Maybe. You heard he was doing that. What is it? Hustle. Oh, yeah. Uh, hustle hustle class. Or, yeah. yeah. Like, that was, yeah. <laughs> maybe someone spending didn't make millions and got pissed. You never Probably. Know. You know, teach you how to be like a man or something. Yeah. Like it was, it was, <laughs> he was obviously banking. Uh, he already had money and he was just Pyramid banking. schemes. And, yeah. MLMs. <laughs> for sure, dude. Like, so Those marketing things. There's something like, yeah. there's something that had is going to come out where you're going to be like, holy shit. Or it's going to be like, what? You know, and it's just really strange that he's still being held. And the guy has not been re- well. Him and his brother, yeah, and they haven't been released. And it's just so weird, man. It's just one of those things that is like unexplainable. Like, what the heck, really? You know, what really is happening out there? Yeah. And uh, yeah. this could happen to. I mean, but there's a lot of there's a lot more people that uh, do this that I, I don't see them like. You know, I don't see them go through this stuff. I mean, besides like the Donald Trump thing that just happened, you know, where <laughs> where he got indicted for the prostitute lady or something. Or yeah, I heard it something like explain it to me because I don't know the whole story. Like I, so, I have it like I just saw it recently, so I didn't read into it though. I'm like not a hundred percent sure, but supposedly, like I don't know when he was pounding supposedly. This was it that porn star? Porn or star. Lady. Yeah, yeah. That was and a long time ago, right? I, I guess like a very yeah. long time ago. And I don't know. Uh, yeah, she was a porn star, not a prostitute. <laughs> but she, <laughs> but somebody, the lawyer. Is it the same? Oh, I'm going to well, start controversy. Can't get you yeah, canceled, yeah. bro. <laughs> well, the, the, I guess somebody during the election when he ran for president, right? Uh, this lady came out and she's like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah I remember that. Supposedly there was money that was paid. They paid him like, I don't know, $100,000 something dollars or whatever it was to keep her 
quiet so she wouldn't say anything supposedly and that's what she's saying a contract too or no i don't know but that's what they're getting them on and then it came out that the lawyer did it that donald trump didn't know about it but the lawyer did it and all kinds of other stuff do so it's he was finally like you know they finally (laughs) got him but no but see it's it's closed so meaning like he's been indicted but nobody knows what the charges are they're not going to release them. No, oh, it's one of those things again. It's huh? one of those things. So, did he give her herpes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just stupid, dude. Because See you can that. get that guy. <laughs> you can get that guy for something else, and then you, you. They're just trying to get him for anything, so the guy doesn't run. But the, the see the thing is, is you can still run for president with that with that yeah. conviction, dude. I mean, think about it, man. Other people run for stupidity i mean you got candidates you never hear from yeah. but like if you look at like at like government officials like here like or anywhere when they run have you ever seen some of them that like they show the pictures but you know they'll yeah. always show the top two yeah. but then there's always like 10 people running and you don't even hear about them you don't yeah. even know about it then they're all druggies crackhead yeah they're all weird. yeah i like, think look uh, at that guy what's that guy that was like was from pennsylvania or whatever that he took the job and all of a sudden, like, he oh, had, like, yeah. a stroke or something. Yeah. Like, it's like, what the heck's going on here, dude? Yeah, Why'd you dude. take it? But it's just... it's weird. Some people are just... I don't know, man. This world's getting stupid, dude. It is, dude. It's so, it is. It's so it dumb. Is. Like, everything I hear, like... I mean, I, I was telling you one day, like, you know, I'm, I keep getting, like, that feed. Like, you can't click on anything because then the algorithm changes on, like, your Instagram, yeah. YouTube, whatever. And I don't know if some friends been clicking on it, but I get all the feminist thing and I'm just like, yeah. oh God, here we go, man. Like, yeah, who cares, man. Like, it is what it is. I, yeah, people force try to force their belief on you, all those woke people. Mm-hmm. I just laugh about it because once it never works, it's kind of it's hilarious. You know, it's like, yeah. oh, but I, I think it's so stupid right now because you, everyone wants to believe stuff yeah. and they get nowhere with it. Mm-hmm. It's like all you hear is the yelling, you know, mm-hmm. people telling each other off. I mean, example, like um, the, the shooting that just happened in Tennessee. Yeah, cool yeah. yeah, I thought that was pretty crazy because um, they had a moment of silence yesterday for the kid who shot everyone because he was transgender. That's weird. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. So, okay, so they didn't even, and I'm not lying, this article, I have it, I could send it to you, and I was just busting up, because my buddy sent it to me, and I was like, mm-hmm. like, I, you know what, I, I really don't get too deep into stuff like that, because it, it's, there's no point, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, they'll probably go after our rights or anything, but it just keeps happening, you're yeah. screwed one day, you're gonna get screwed again, you know, later, It's it doesn't matter, like, um, no matter, uh, you're never going to, everyone says, oh, I'm going to fight when everything goes down or anything. No, you ain't. <laughs> it's yeah. like, <laughs> it, trust me. It's like, uh, it, so I don't care what people argue and everything. Um, but at the end of the day, it's like, I was tripping out. I read the article and I was like, is this for reals, dude? He's like, yeah, it's actually for reals. And then I started Googling it and mm-hmm. started looking into it and everything. I never say it's researching because I'm just Googling, I'm searching, you know, so I just kind of want to see. And yeah, man, there's a bunch of articles on it. And it was just weird how they, you get a moment of silence for the person who killed a bunch of people just because they're transgender. So it's like, you already know it's an agenda thing. You already know yeah. all this stuff, but, uh, you know, I laugh cause like people are saying, what do we do about this? You can't. It's thrown out there, man. They're paid. You know, media's paid already. Right. It's like if you got enough money to control some kind of media, go for it. Hopefully, mm-hmm. it makes a change. But at the end of the day, it's like, what do you do? You know, you yeah. honestly, what do you do? I, I, I don't. I, I don't know what to do. You know, it's like, you, so now I just sit back and I watch the show, and I'm like, <laughs> damn, this is getting crazy. You know, it is. Dude. Like, I, I think that if it doesn't matter what you are, if you're transgender or whatever the heck yeah. you want to identify as. If you went in and shot up a school, yeah. you shouldn't have any moment of silence of anything. Nah, you you're a mirror, mean, like, you dude. Don't, That's yeah, it. You don't. You don't deserve to have any moment of silence. I don't. I and, don't care if you're a kid, if you're a young thing. It's like you've given yourself that title. You are a mirror. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the video, dude? It's crazy. Like the the body cam. 
on the guy that the, oh, the, yeah. the officer. Yeah, like, yeah. I saw turned some around of the corner but... and just dropped them. Well, like, oh, you so. know what I always think is weird, dude, is that they show the um they show the the body cams, mm -hmm. but then later on they edit them and then you only get so much of it. So I only saw I saw the full one, but it was only for like two seconds and then, no lie, dude, it like got taken off right away. Mm -hmm. And then I just saw edited versions and I can't find a real one anymore. It's like, yeah. what the heck? It's, it's so weird how they do that so quick. It's weird. Some states have like laws when it comes mm -hmm. to, because I was trying to find a, uh, okay. I was trying to build a podcast on like that true crime, but stuff like that with body cams and you can't just access them. You with have to counts. ask for permission. Yeah. The body counts. <laughs> you have to ask for like permission through whatever to so you can access the body cam yeah. in some places you can just access all of them and you can even make you know make your own stories over yeah. and put them online and make videos yeah. in some places you just can't some states won't let you because of a uh, you know evidence or whatever that's crazy but there's a lot of you could call it body count but then all the all, all the feminists will come after you and say hey yeah yeah well, just what does it matter <laughs> sleeping just, with a bunch of people <laughs> you just I know when you were talking to me about that, I was like, what the heck is <laughs> Yeah, that's what the, new, the the kids call it. Before it was like, hey, how many people have you slept with? You know, yeah. and, oh, like 10, you know, and now it's like, yeah. what's your body count? Because he, yeah, you got to remember, dude, kids have to make everything sound cool now. Yeah. I think yeah. the word that I really hate is cap. What's What do you mean cap? Like, oh, that's cap. What's that mean? I really don't know, but I think it means like, oh, that's a lie or something like that. That's cap. I, yeah. Look it up. Yeah. I, I started looking at all these new words that these kids are saying. I'm like, what the fuck? What the heck? <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> Google or something. You're going to laugh. That's really dude. weird, dude. Like, uh, just go to the Urban Dictionary and I'll tell you that. Like, I guess that's what it means. Like, oh, you're lying or, you know. Really? You're making it. I guess so. I guess that's what it means. I hear it so much, dude. What? Yeah. That's yeah, weird. I, dude, there's all kinds of stuff that, that, you know, that kids say and you're like, what the heck? What does that mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? You have no idea what the heck they're saying. It's it's I mean, crazy, dude. I, I just still say things are cool, man. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, this and that. You know, it's like, yeah. it's just weird what they say. Yeah. Um, And no, dude, it's just... Urban Dictionary is crazy. You got to read into it. What did you say? What is cap? Uh, what's cap? Yeah, just like the meaning of cap or something like that. Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Wow, that's really weird. It says, uh, oh, it says, so the, so what it means is no cap slash capping. Not to be confused for, <laughs> not to be confused for, I'm going to cap you, you know. Like that, ca yeah, that's, that's what I thought was cap like, was. I was like, gonna get shot, right? I was like you, yeah, that's what I grew up with, right? Okay. You're going to get capped. You're going to get capped, dog. <laughs> so it says cap is another word for lie. Saying no cap so, means so that I think I was right. you aren't lying. So if you say someone mm. is capping, then you're saying that they are lying. So I was like, oh, that no who's cap. capping? That's so stupid. <laughs> Where the hell? What the heck is going on? Dude? I don't like, know, dude. I'm telling you. Wait, there's other hell? words too. I just gotta look them up again. I I was, I was like, what the hell is that, dude? Some kid told me that one time. That's the only reason. He's like, cap, right? I'm like, e yeah, I wear caps. What the heck? <laughs> I'm That's old, weird, dude. dude. I'm 40 That's already, weird. dude. So I, I, I'm I'm a middle aged man. <laughs> You're a middle aged man. So here I found out. Like this is this is from bbc news and uh it says what happened between stormy daniels and donald trump so ah stormy okay. daniels there we go that's her name so it says former yeah, yeah. u.s president donald trump will be charged with a crime over allegations he covered up hush money payments to ex-porn actress ah. stormy daniels miss daniels claims she and mr trump had sex and she accepted one hundred and thirty thousand dollars from his former lawyer before 2016 election in exchange for her silence on the encounter okay so isn't that prostitution yeah it does this is not paying for money. sex yes he, he pounded her and then oh. oh you need to be quiet here i'm gonna pay you one hundred thirty thousand dollars. that's still a prostitution he paid basically paid her for yeah you know, he, that, trump is capping she, he's capping shouldn't, <laughs> he's he, capping. shouldn't she like also be in trouble for this like i don't know it just uh, well, the lawyer what state that they do it in. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it just says it that the lawyer. Vegas, 
then uh, but it's, it's legal uh, it's illegal it says that the it's, lawyer michael cohen was later jailed on multiple charges charges the former president has denied any sexual involvement with Ms. Daniels since the allegations surfaced in I think, 2018. I think half of it is just distraction from what's I think going it's on in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, Let's it's, go it's, conspiracy it's, theories. It's all distraction, dude. Yeah, it's all it, well, I mean, yeah, if you think about it, man, everything distracts you from everything that's going on. Yes. I mean, it, it, why don't they talk about Biden's son, man? The Hunter Biden? Uh, dude, that stuff is that pretty dude. deep. That stuff is They're going to come to our stuff. house tonight. They're going to take us. Well, dude, like, this guy is like it's legit like he's he's a criminal and yeah. nothing's done about it then think about it what do you think would happen if they were to jail biden's son it would be crazy i oh, did it'd be nuts i think but that would never happen because he, he, what is it how many how many pardons can a president give before he he um you think he like pardon his kid? Yeah, yeah, he'll his pardon kid? his kid, dude. Of course, and you could do it silently. You don't need to say anything. Um, I, I, like, uh, okay, have you ever heard of that? Uh, I don't know what the podcast is called, but that guy Adam Twenty Two. No, he does a bunch of interviews with rappers and everything. I'll send you some links and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't like him. He's all right, but like, mm -hmm. I am not into his podcast. Kind of boring. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, he. Uh, uh, I guess like his dad worked with uh, Clinton and got in trouble and everything. And then before Clinton um, uh, at his last term, he pardoned him. Oh. So it's like, and uh, it like, but it's all quiet it's pardons. Like you can mm -hmm. quietly pardon someone or you could, you know, vocally like, or, yeah. you know, show it, show everyone that you've pardoned someone. And the presidents always do that. They've always pardoned, you know, there's people that right, you either pay money or something and they'll pardon you. You know what I, I mean? I think if they were going to do something to that guy, the Hunter guy, yeah. I think that it would be after if this guy doesn't win and then like the Republicans are going to try to go after them because, you know, they went after Trump. <clears throat> the hardest so I, thing is, is, is just like how everything's connected to not just China, but the whole Russia thing, you know, Ukraine. I mean, uh, the only reason uh, they're they're I, I think that they hide a lot of this stuff is because. You know, his son was running a bunch of stuff for his dad down there in uh, Ukraine. Yeah. All those bio labs, everything. Not just that, too. It was other stuff, too. But um, you really think about it like, yeah, man, they're going to have to cover a lot of stuff because the president's been doing some shady junk, you know? That's some crazy stuff, dude. But That's I mean, crazy. the thing is, how do you prove it? You know, it's like, yeah, how, how, like, they got so much money. They got so much pool. Yeah. They could hide anything. Oh, yeah. E dude. Even if Bi they say Biden's a puppet. Yeah, he still has pull because he's doing the work for whoever's above yeah. everything, you know? That's it's true. It's like, yeah, the Black Pope. That's crazy. The Black Pope. <laughs> Have you heard what it? Is so suppose it's like three popes. You got the Pope uh -huh. that we all see. Um, You got the Pope behind him. I, I can't remember that one's the White Pope. And then I guess, there, or the Gray Pope. And then you got the Black Pope. Like, I guess that dude's the one that runs everything. Oh, look it up, man. It's I'm like looking these, it up. I'm looking. Yeah, it up right yeah. Now. It's uh, or the gray what pole or black. I can't even remember. Someone, stuff. my buddy, told me about that, and he was he told me a bunch of joke about Where it a get while this back. Shit from dude. And I just got Fred's. Here's I a, find stuff. I read stuff. Here's an article on on the black pope. It's from but, Catholic Answers. <laughs> ah, it's probably going to tell you it's a lie, but it's really not. Is this question? I heard that the Vatican is run by an individual called the Black Pope. Yeah, yeah. Who Told holds you. all the real power. What yep. do you say about that? The answer, whoever is providing it's this. It's going to say no. Just, it's going to have to say no. They can't reveal that. It says there is a person sometimes called the Black Pope, but it's his existence is not a secret, and he does not have anywhere near as much power as a real Pope. The Black Pope is a nickname given to the Father General of the Society of Jesus. The Jesuits hmm. look into so, the Jesuits. <laughs> so, and that's what it says is when the Jesuit, Jesuit, yeah. Jesuits were the are most big. prestigious, influential missionary order in the world, the people of Rome began to speak jokingly of their head as a second pope. They called him the Black Pope because he wore the Jesuits' black clerical uh -huh. garb. Like, yeah. In contrast to the real pope who wore a white and became known as the White Pope. Uh, that's weird. That's what it is. Look up the gray pope. 
what the hell is going on here? What is- I'll tell you, dude. I, I uh, dude, I read a lot of stuff. True or not, <laughs> the, the gray pope. I mean, oh yeah. my god, that's funny. That is the gray pope. Let's see, what is the what is the gray pope? Um, it doesn't. What is? I'm gonna have is, to get you stuff, dude. We're gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> it doesn't say I like. It doesn't say anything about uh, like uh, if I look it on Quora or Quora, whatever that is. It says, mm. uh, "What is the name of the great pope?" And it says, "Go, um, the, go to the Pepe, dark web, bro. You'll find everything." Pepe Orsini. Pepe Orsini is the great pope. He uh, is a French guy, 13th, right? I think so. Thirteenth yeah, bloodline yeah. illuminated. Hailed from Maximus clan and Claudius clan. What? Three family, familia, popes, 125 cardinals, and endless senators represent massive territory. He controls the black and the white popes. There we go. He, the is white pope is? is, yeah, the white pope is the pope that we all know. Okay. Uh, like Benedict just died, right? Who's the next okay. pope? There, have they even picked the next pope? Oh, oh, no, I don't even know. know I'm Catholic. Yeah, Benedict yeah. died, dude. What? Dang, dude! You need to get into this stuff, dude. It's like crazy, (laughs) John. This is conspiracy times ten, but it's real conspiracy. (laughs) What the heck happened here? (laughs) Yeah, dude. The great pope is the holy shit. The great pope is the king, dude. That dude supposedly he runs like everything, like in the world. But Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. I believe the Jews still do. George Soros. I believe George Soros just runs with all the five families. But I believe there's one family above all those five families, all the banking families. It says that the Pope is not dead. Benedict's not dead? One well, of us. Well, well, that guy's dead, but Pope yeah. Francis is is the one right now. But he's okay, yeah, he's in the hospital for respiratory difficulties. Uh, he's going to be dead yeah. soon. But it says <laughs> he was appointed by Pope Benedict. Yeah, Pope Benedict down. died and stepped down. And, and dude, there's this um, other thing. Um, I got to find you the video. Supposedly that there's a war between... Inside the Catholic Church right now, like there are like good popes and bad popes, and they're fighting for control right now of uh, the Vatican. Like, and the reason they're fighting control for it is because of uh, like they're trying to um, uh, like they're not uh, so so supposedly the Antichrist doesn't take over and stuff. What? Dude, I'm telling you, dude. Like, there's some crazy stories out there, but I saw this YouTube video of um. I don't know, this one dude, I don't know if he's like a preacher or something. I don't know. He was talking about it and he was like a war inside the Vatican or something like that. And it was like this little, not documentary, but like a little, his little thing. He's like, I have a friend inside and I went to, I went to the, you know, Vatican, this and that. And he told me that, you know, there's this one guy who's trying to take control of everything, but you know, Benedict left Francis and this and that. Yeah, dude, I, I got to send really? you all this. Yeah, dude, it's crazy, dude. Supposedly that there's a war inside the Catholic Church. and What? Yeah, I, I have to send you the video. I just got to find it. And <laughs> I, I don't know. Just don't ask. I just got into it. I just started looking at stuff. And I was like, oh, crap. This you is know really when... weird. Yes. But the great pope, he's the, he's the one of oh, the head of all of them, dude. What? We should. I never even one. heard of that, dude. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, I never um, but heard to put, of it. it is true. You've just found it. It's it's there. Yeah. I mean, Heck. we we should take over, man. I always thought you know we would be the brown popes, dude. I know. Yeah, los cafeceros, the brown, the brown, the Mexican popes. Si, the dude, poop. did you hear the about poops. your? Did you, <laughs> did you hear about your peoples over there in El Salvador? Oh, there, like dude, really? the prison, yes. that prison, dude. That's yes, crazy. Dude. I was watching those videos, and those dudes, dude. There's so many of them. Yeah. Like, what the heck is going on? You know, um, it's kind of like the Mormons in Mexico that fight the cartel. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of those guys, too? Yeah, I heard of them. Yeah. That's wild. Say, yeah. That's it's kind of like dude. everyone's building factions already because the end of the world is coming. We should build our own. The we poops. should build our the poops. <laughs> so this this <laughs> prison, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> this prison holds, this is by some place called AP News. I guess we have to say what the article because just in case they try to sue us. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Clowns. Nah. It says, <laughs> Where are Salvador, they going to take from us? they going to take my mic away. I, <laughs> I got to take the arcade away. It's too much. It in my says, room. 2,000 more 
2,000 more to prison vows they will never return. Like it doesn't, oh, it says over the last 354 days, about 65,000 people have been arrested in the anti-gang campaign. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, Isn't that like the whole population? Yeah, basically. <laughs> what the heck, dude? El Salvador's this, tidy, bro. Dude, this is crazy. Yeah. There's uh it says um the world's coolest dictator wrote this his Twitter account that there are now there are now four thousand gang members in the world's most criticized prison. Um Duped the terrorism confinement center. The prison was inaugur inaugurated in February and already holds about 2,000 suspect gang members. And its uh, sprawling camp is 45 miles east of San Salvador, the capital, mm -hmm. that could eventually house up to 40,000 inmates. That's 40,000? That's, that's a whole that's population ridiculous. of El Salvador, dude. dude. That's ridiculous. What? That's crazy. The nation's though. run by Bitcoin, man. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is true. That is but, true. But, but I mean, I don't heard <laughs> It's that probably going to crash, too, because Bitcoin's going down. Oh, I know. Hey, um, All this yeah. stuff is happening. So, um, ha so one thing I was... I got to find it for you. So, there's two currencies right now that the government's okay. going to be using soon. I, uh -huh. I can't remember their names, but the stock's going to be on there. I'll help and you. And they just opened up. Yeah. It, it And so, they're going to just decimate it, Bitcoin, it, man. Isn't it like yen? Isn't that one of them? No, the no, Chinese? no, 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 no. The... Um, they're, they have their own. So, I guess everyone's already getting ready to uh, change. And so, Here's the thing, though. Um, reading stuff and everything, they're saying 2025. A lot of these changes really? are going to happen. Well, they you got to remember, US dollar, um, right? As the number one currency? Isn't that uh, what yeah that? yeah and um it's i i'm not i haven't looked into it a lot but i just uh, i was reading about these two currencies that the u.s wants to use and this app and like how they're gonna make you turn in all your money and all this stuff so um if you look up hmm. uh i can't remember what it was called but like i think it was the 1950s 19 1940s or 50s where they made everyone who still had gold in hand turn it into the bank so they could give you uh, some capital. Mm -hmm. um, I, you can look it oh, up. Oh, here it like, is. Yeah. It's called the Gold Reserve Act. Yeah. So there this is through Wikipedia. It says um, yes. the United States Gold Reserve Act of Janu January 30th of 1934 required 34, that all okay. gold, so it was 30s. gold certificates. There's uh -huh. gold certificates? Yes, the there fuck? was gold certificates. Yeah, Held it's kind of like... Um, like uh, what is that? like what money is, orders and like the other thing, oh, they they hold because okay, okay. they have something backing it. They hold value, so it's kind of like also too it's like a, bonds and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a note. It's literally ah, so okay. there was gold certificates back in the day. They asked it you says, to turn uh, them in. It says uh, all gold and gold certificates held by Federal Reserve be surrendered and vested in the mm -hmm. sole title of the United States Department of Treasury. It is also prohibited at the Treasury of Financial Institutions from redeeming dollar bills for gold. Established the ex Exchange Stabilization Fund under the control of the They didn't Treasury. want anyone to have gold anymore. That's crazy. Because you could value yourself through gold. You had something to back yourself up with. And a lot of people were against it. And then it ended up falling where they started doubling on the on the um, the bills. They started making more bills. But then also, too, they... Uh, that's what the FDIC started coming in, the hmm. plan to establish the FDIC, where the Federal Reserve literally took over all your money, you know? Mm. Um, and supposedly it's insured, but it's just a safe a safe way for the rich people to never lose their money. So uh, that's where you, you get um, the main five banks coming in finally and establishing themselves, you know, Chase Morgan, yeah. uh, Wells Fargo, all those. And... Uh, there's a big history lesson there. I just haven't gotten into it, but I was surprised about it. And this just came up, and um, my buddy is the one who reminded me on this. <laughs> dude, we need to get him on here, dude. He's he's mm -hmm. hilarious, but dude, this guy's smart as hell. He knows a lot of this stuff. Um, he's a teacher, mm -hmm. and um, but yeah, he he threw it back at me. He's like, "Hey, you remember this?" He goes, "Check it out. This is gonna happen soon again." And that's mm -hmm. when I started kind of looking into it and how they're gonna start going digital. And, uh, yeah, there's two currencies that they're going to be, um, using, mm -hmm. uh, but like there's this app supposedly and, a lot, um, right now it's, uh, it's already gone public, but no one's invested in it. Cause like they haven't opened it yet to invest, mm -hmm. but I guess once it's open, like that's where all the rich people are going to be putting their money just to, you know, 
Go Isn't digital. that a little scary? Because you could lose it all, mm-hmm. kind of like that. Exactly. Sand guy, just take all well, your money. Yeah, the gold deck. It was that's what happened. A lot of people did lose a lot of their stuff. Like, I mean, think about it. Um, you're giving all your gold. Do you think they're going to give you what your gold is worth? You know, who puts yeah. who puts the price on gold? Yeah, the government does. You know. Yeah. Like honestly, they're they they they'll say it's a worldwide thing. This and no, they put who, there's someone there who puts the number. Gold is worth this an ounce right now, you know, and gold yeah. goes up and down every time. It's kind of like, remember copper, that time where we needed a lot of copper and then all of a sudden we started mining for it like crazy. Mm-hmm. And now it's just, it's worth nothing. I remember um, working and getting a bunch of contact tips and they're all copper. And I had a five gallon bucket. I took it in the first time. I got like 800 bucks. That's when mm-hmm. copper was, you know, they were really struggling for copper and then I remember going back, maybe filling up the bucket again, going back. And then all of a sudden I was only getting like maybe like 200 bucks. Damn. And now if you take like a five gallon bucket of just pure copper, you know, it's all cut up and everything done for them. Mm. Um, you're only getting like maybe 25 bucks for it. Mm. It's that's, it's worthless almost, you know. That's some bullshit right there. I mean, um, they haven't been mining copper here in Arizona for years. And Arizona is one of the biggest copper mining states uh, i think what we probably hold the the biggest uh what is vein copper, of copper right yeah it's the copper state isn't yeah it? is that, is that yeah what it is? It's copper Colorado state yeah yeah i know that there's a the big mine here like freeport mm-hmm. freeport i think is what it's called yeah. and they're like the biggest copper they haven't like they mine. haven't mined so much of it they've been mining silver and i forgot what else um not iron. I don't, I don't know. The, can't remember the. There's another. I can't remember. What I don't it know is. the mining thing, but I saw the video. Of those people that are, the people that are like basically enslaved and they're mining for like what is that yeah. cobalt or what is cobalt that that and doing? lithium. That's crazy, dude. Well, the thing is, um, that whole thing with the electrical cars. I think we talked about it last time. It's kind of stupid because like, um, that stuff is like ten times deadlier and pollutes the world even more. Yeah. <laughs> you know and um. It's just funny because um, they're they're killing themselves. I, I, did you see those videos where they have just everyone? They practically live there. Yeah, they the sleep kids, there. Like they eat there. there yeah. People with like kids in their backs, yeah. like like hitting stuff with like. How much? Look up how much a uh, uh, an ounce of lithium costs right now. What's the cost of lithium? Damn. Since in high in demand, Let's we see. have plenty of it. But how much is lithium? Price in 2022, the average price of battery grade lithium carbonate was estimated at 37,000 US dollars per metric ton. That's metric ton. Okay, so, so how much is uh, lithium? Now, I'm gonna say is a couple, a couple hundred so bucks. A gram it costs around three to twelve dollars per gram. Okay, hmm. not too bad. I mean, I. I it's just getting worse, man. The <laughs> yeah. ego, bro. It's that's just crazy, man. I know, it, it, but but I, that's why I always say, "What are you gonna do? You can't do yeah. anything. Do you got money to do something? Do something, man." Yeah, and, we don't but, even have every, gold. They were to go. We need to. We need. We're gonna go on a second round, and we need everybody's gold. We got. I got nothing. Right. It's like, <laughs> I mean, the only gold that we have are in our computers, but this like the little tiny piece, the you know? tiny stuff. Like I yeah. remember Intel when I used to work at. Uh, working on the equipment and Intel. Um, I remember uh, they used to throw away all the chips and everything. Mm-hmm. And um, there were certain cards that they had that were just pure gold. Mm-hmm. And they were tossing them, bro, in the uh-huh. dumpster. And I remember one time finding them a couple of times and my buddy was like, dude, keep those. I was like, why? He goes, that's gold. And I was like, really? He goes, that's pure gold. And it w- it, it only had like a plastic layer on the top. But you can melt it off and keep the gold, dude. The and uh, I remember keeping them, but I probably lost them somewhere. It's been years. But later on, they started recycling it because it was getting expensive to, mm-hmm. you know, get gold anywhere else. So Intel started, uh, instead of dumping everything, they have an area where they burn it on everything. They burn all the plastic off of it area, and they they take the gold out again and they reuse it. Um, mm-hmm. So it, it's, it's crazy, uh, but... They had tons of it going into the trash for years, and then they stopped it. It got expensive, you know? Yeah. But, um, money. Yeah, and that's when uh, Intel was building like crazy over here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. remember a couple of years ago? What was that like? Probably like about what twelve years ago, I think. Something like that. Well, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's so, crazy, dude. This is not as crazy as that great pope shit and all that. Like, that's <laughs> I it's told you, weird. dude. I keep weird. bringing up some uh, crazy. You should look at the Jesuit stuff. Um, supposedly they're the biggest missionary um stuff, but if you I've look never even deeper, heard of that. yeah, Jesuits are crazy, dude. Oh, what the but heck then they like... they got into like torturing people. Um, really? they helped out in the whole um crusade stuff. Um, dude, That's... and then there's there's stories now that the Jesuits are big on the human trafficking because they've always been like the missionary ones and stuff to go help uh... people in other countries. Crazy, huh? Dude? The they have I orphanages and all this stuff. It it's says, it's uh, nuts, dude. This is by this is was this Georgetown University? Let me see. This is weird. What the heck is going on here? Um, There's a lot of these sex, like sex. I can't, I can't say it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. Not sexual, but you know. I don't know who wrote this, but um, it just says to Jesuits are an apo- apostolic, apostolic. Wait, apostolic, apostolic, pic, apost- no, or apostolic, apostolic. Yeah, religious community called the Society of Jesus. They are grounded in love for Christ and animated by the spiritual vision of their founder, Saint Ignat. Ignatius of Loyola, Loyola, the help to help others and, and seek God, <laughs> God in all things. This is weird. Like, yeah, never it's heard it. so. So that that's more of just like who they are. But if you start looking into it, they're like involved in a lot of stuff, really? dude. Yeah, you you got to go like the rabbit hole. You know how it is, and just keep looking and looking and looking. You'll just keep finding and finding stuff. Like I, I have to send you stuff just so you can be like, oh crap. Uh, yeah, I never even, I never yeah, heard of it. Like there's a lot of sex, like, um, like you got that, you got, example, um, dang, what else? Uh, let me see here. You got, you got those guys, you got, um, it's kind of like, like different religions have like different factions, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's one of them. And then you got like the, um, man, none of them come to mind right now. Um, dang, I'm gonna have to get you a list one day, <laughs> but there's so are, many are these of them. guys like Catholic or like what? Uh, supposedly they run out of the Catholic church, supposedly. Okay. Um, but, uh, oh, it's kind of like, like, like different sects. Like, so like, uh, G- uh, Judaism has, uh, has a, uh, their witchcraft line, which is the uh, Kabbalism, you know? Mm-hmm. And then you have like, uh, like so so they all have something that came out of something you know what i mean Mm. one certain religion um the buddhists have another one and i cannot remember their names but they're all into like mysticism or witchcraft or just Mm. weird stuff like these guys though supposedly they were into like torture stuff and you know um and they were part of the the whole thing with um they had a connection with like supposedly with like the jack the ripper stories where people mm. were getting killed in England, but they just made up something, but it's because they were just killing people just so they could uh, study the anatomy. Mm-hmm. And that's how you get those books of like, you know, where the heart's at and the kidneys and all that stuff, you know? It, it's just like, uh, like that Italian guy. Wasn't that like Leonardo? Wasn't he the one? Oh, Da Vinci was, was uh, yeah. part of, uh, yeah, what was his thing? Um, yeah, he had his, uh, he is part of uh, one of those things, you know? It's kind of mm-hmm. like the Illuminati, you know, that, that they yeah. have their thing and, I don't know. It's just all a bunch of weird stuff like that. But when you look into it, it's kind of like uh, um, our, our presidents were into, uh, they weren't Illuminati. They were, uh, what is it called? Uh, Masons, right? The Masons. Masons. Yeah, yeah, it's like that, like stuff like that. And um, so it's it's kind of weird. But when you start looking into it and um, you'll always get the broad, you know, like nice. Oh, there are these kind of people and this and that. This is how it started and everything. When you start looking into certain things and just going, going into it, you start finding out some stuff, but it kind of makes sense, you know, because like the the whole Jack the Ripper thing, like um, they never found the guy, you know, but so many people are getting killed and, you know, they're getting gutted or anything. But like when they would find the bodies or they would find, you know, they would see like they were surgically cut. They were, you know, someone was studying them, you know. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden you get like anatomy books back in the day, you know, and you get where everything's at, you know, how many bones we have, you know, 
Yeah. One way or another, they had to do it. You know, <laughs> I mean, they just did it the wrong way. But there's a movie about that too, and um, about, what? about about what? that about the whole Jack the Ripper thing, mm-hmm. where it was just more of a cover up for certain people to study the human body. I can't remember the movie's name. It's been a long time. Hmm. But yeah, I've always been interested in all that stuff. All that stuff has like some weird background stuff. Everything has a weird background. It's like like Elon Musk, man. He's like the nicest guy ever, but I don't believe that. <laughs> I think he I think there's stuff behind him, you know? Well, he um, has a lot of money. Yeah. And I mean, he's has government contracts no matter what he mm-hmm. says about anything. Like if it was, you know, they haven't taken his contracts away or nothing mm-hmm. or I mean, it's, I mean, uh, that's why, like, uh, that's how I, I think the last time we were talking about it when I was telling you about controlled opposition, like, yeah. seems like he's your friend or anything, but now he's just basically controlled opposition, meaning he'll look the part, play the part, but in the background, he has everything, you know, that you're against backing mm-hmm. him, you know, but yeah. he's making it look good to you. So then later on, you're like, you fall in love with them. Oh, yeah, this guy is cool. This guy is that. Then later on, you find out that he has all this background. But, oh, no, that's not him. He doesn't do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. he does. He got the money somewhere, you know. I don't yeah. believe in that they've been working hard forever. Heck no, dude. Well, it, it kind of like, uh, you know, when he bought Twitter. Mm-hmm. And he had all this to Twitter files when he started exposing, like, the government mm-hmm. being part of, like, uh you know, censoring people during the elections yeah. and all that. And he he's taking all this out and the government, there's been a few things here where like, you know, people have said about him and, but they don't do anything. If it was this bad, like you would lose all your contracts. Shut him down. Yeah. You, would sh- you would get shut down, but he doesn't get shut down for nothing. He's still, yeah, he's just doing his own thing. So he must it's know somebody. Bro. Yeah. Trickery. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just weird, you know, it, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, like, like I always say, what are you going to do? Nothing. Yeah. You ain't got money. You poor. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it's we have no backing. That's why, like, I was laughing at my buddy the other day because he was like, oh, man, if they come after me, I'm going to be with the last guy. She and I was like, yeah, they'll take you down in like two seconds, dude. Yeah. I was like, they got the best weapons. They got the best markmen. They got people that are like involved deep that they're just going to send them in and take you out in like two seconds. Like Mm -hmm. you have no chance. Like it it just, it's sad to say, but we're kind of (laughs) screwed. It's like, (laughs) well, you know, a lot of people watch a lot of movies and yeah, uh, exactly. Or they think that they think they're John Wick. Did that you movie was it? sick, bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I love the fighty dude. Dude, he killed yeah. everyone. Yeah. Like, a thousand people. He killed them all with oh, one. Oh, I had to look it up. Um, he In all four movies, he kills 436 people, I think. Dang. Yeah, dude. He kills a lot of people throughout the movies. That's like, I think people. the first movie or the second one, he killed like 76 people. Dang. <laughs> Something like that, dude. Dude, yeah. that that movie was yeah. crazy. Dude, we went to go watch it, and I was like, "Holy shit! Yeah. This thing's like from yeah. beginning to end, just everybody non-stop. dying." Non-stop, yeah, non-non-stop killing with the gun. I don't know how many clips this dude has. Man, it, it's just like, I don't well, know, infinite clips, infinite clips. It, I mean. What I like, well, what I like in like, I think it was part two or part three where he's picking them up because people are making fun of the fact that you're shooting like. 100 rounds and then you finally change out the mag but he's yeah. picking them up i think in part three or part two and just like he keeps like putting them in you know because yeah. um he ran out you know but like in this one i was like dang but in this one it was more physical fist fighting you yeah know? it was yeah it was uh he was like choking people out yeah and- freaking throwing them on the ground and all yep. kinds of it was crazy those dudes well, with the with the metal face like the helmets and stuff yeah those yeah. freaking japanese dude that was oh, crazy that was crazy dude. um I was, like, what the heck? I I was i was hoping like common came back like mm-hmm. maybe he healed or something or not he didn't come back i like common yeah. like i think it was from part two yeah but that guy was dope dude um, so what i didn't understand is who is that dude with the dog is he related to Halle He's, Berry or something? Or uh, I don't like, know. Well, because you know she that, had dogs. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought there was a connection there, but they never explained anything. They literally just say he's Mister Nobody. But hmm. you know, I was kind of thinking it probably was him, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, like he's related or he's probably the husband. The only re- this is my theory. The reason I think he's the husband because she has a daughter. Mm-hmm. She has a mm-hmm. daughter and they were hiding it. And her marker was with John. Okay. Right. So the pro- the thing is she never wants to know where her daughter is because she knows she's going to go look for her. Mm-hmm. And she never wants to know anything. So the tracker might be the dad. Because he has the dog. I mean, you never know. That's my theory. Then uh, if you really uh, like through the whole thing, though, he I think he's like a I I, like I I honestly think he was kind of obsessed with John Wick because he has a book full of a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But then I think he's like literally not part of the whole table thing and the whole assassin thing. I think Mm -hmm. he just gets hired. He's like an assassin that gets hired outside of all that group or that Mm -hmm. whole thing. Because uh, if you really look at it, he like he's going through the books and he really he has to go through the book because he doesn't know what faction that is. You know, oh, that's the Russians. That's this, the Japanese. So he has to open up his book to know where he what he's you know, what he sees. And then like, it's just weird, you know, because he he literally is nobody. But you never know. Part five is coming out. They're going to they already said so John Wick didn't die. They've been yeah. saying part five has been in the works for a while, but he's going to wait a bit to bring it out. Mm-hmm. So uh, I wonder how they're going to do that, you know? Well, at the end, when they're in the cemetery and they were like, uh, what the heck's his name? The underground guy? Uh, um, Winston or, or? No, Winston's talking to, no, to uh, Morbius. Uh, um, or Morpheus. Yeah, uh, Morpheus. Uh, what the heck's his name? Morpheus. <laughs> I forgot uh, his name in the movie, but they uh, uh, they call whatever. him the king. The king. The king. <laughs> yeah, the, the king. king. Yeah. And he goes like, what do you think? You think he's in heaven or hell? And then uh, Winston goes, who knows? Meaning. Yeah. And then the guy laughs and he just laughs and turns around. I'm like, wait a minute. So, yeah. Who knows? Meaning that he's not dead. Yeah. The other thing, too, um, you notice when he touches his grave, he goes, rest in peace, my son. And you yeah. see the Russian tattoo on it. And he was yeah, part of that. Hand. Yeah. And uh, I was telling my buddy because he came with me and uh, me and the wife. And uh, I, I asked him, I was like, so is he saying that that was his son? Mm. That because the thing is, OK, so um, I, I, I love John Wick. I even got the like I even read the comic books and the comic books. Mm. And I'll send you some videos. They're pretty cool. It adds to the whole mythos. Supposedly he's an orphan um, and uh, he his parents got killed and he mm. was orphaned. He became a thief to survive, and then he was taken in by the Russian family, the Russian mob. Mm-hmm. So he's part of that that thing, and then he was he was actually taught ba- uh, like how to be a ballerina too, and then mm-hmm. he was um he he learned how to be assassin through them, mm-hmm. and then he goes to the Marines, and um but in the comic book they kind of left it open. There's hints that like mm-hmm. he might not um like uh. They knew of his mom dying, but they don't they 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 don't know if the dad ever died or not or anything. So I was like, dude, is Winston his dad? You know, Could be. it's like an, uh, it's kind of like obscured in the comics. Mm-hmm. And you're kind of like wondering, is Winston his dad? Because Winston's always taking care of him mm-hmm. like forever. But then like yeah. at the end, you see he has the tattoo and it's literally the same family that yeah. he's from. So that's kind of cool. Now yeah. there's going to be a show of Winston called mm-hmm. the continental that they're going to make. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a younger version of him, how he became the manager. And then um, they're also going to have another show that kind of is going to connect to the new uh, spinoff movie, uh, the ballerina. So mm-hmm. I guess we're going to see their, their, the background, like their stuff, like prequels of, of that stuff you know and supposedly like the rumor is i was reading that um if they do the continental that they are thinking of like when uh winston meets john wick for the first time like a young kid version of john wick you know so i was like mm-hmm. that's kind of cool you know so mm-hmm. i don't know it, it, I, I like when the when movies do that because like you, you have so much uh like it's kind of cool you know you, you get yeah. like prequels and stuff like that and they connect really well I like That's movies like cool. that. Yeah. That's going to be, that one's going to be a good one. Yeah. That, that one should probably be the last one, I think. Yeah, it has to be. But um, yeah. the ballerina, I think it's from between um, part two and part three. 
So that's the spinoff for that one. And I think that Cuban chick is going to be it, that Ana de Armas. Hmm. I think she's going to be the one who plays the ballerina chick. Huh. Uh, you know who she is, right? Um, she's that actress with color eyes. She's really pretty. Um, I forget what other movie she she comes out a bunch of movies. She came out in the last James Bond. Mm, did you watch the last change mom no oh you yeah. gotta watch it it's so good it dude good? Yeah. yeah i think it's all the right. best one out of all of the james bond the ending is like you're just like wow that was kind of cool you know so like mm. you you gotta watch it man it's actually really uh, good did you watch maverick yeah that yeah, was pretty sick yeah how sad dude. Yeah, was like, it's a, i was crying it's a good it's a good <laughs> one but the, the mission impossible is coming out that's gonna be sick uh the weapon's gonna come out really um, I didn't mm-hmm. know that one's gonna come out. Yeah, that's gonna be, all gonna be in it. Like the oh, original really? people, yeah. Glover and, and uh, uh, Gibson. And Gibson, and oh, uh, be yeah, dope. and then the the new um, Passion of Christ too. What? <laughs> yeah, dude, they're gonna have the great pope. <laughs> the great pope. <laughs> what the? How are you gonna do it? What's What's the passion part two gonna be about, dude? Like, I don't know. I think it's uh, so. This one is about when he comes out. He, he resurrects. He resurrects. Okay, that's what that's gonna so, be about. Okay, he resurrects, but he only spends uh, like biblically. Like, if you read that, it's only he spends what three days, and then mm-hmm. he ascends to heaven. Yeah, but that's Dude, what's, what's, I think that's what it's going to be. But is it when, is when what's his name the original Jesus going to do it? Like the guy who played Jesus? Uh, is he? I mean, I would think he would have to because dude, you know, like, after after that movie, that dude never came out in other movies. He like kind of like messed up his like career with that movie. That movie was pretty yeah, rough, so a lot yeah, of people were like yeah. freaking out. But he made so much money. That yeah, one in Apocalypto, dude. dude. Apocalypto is crazy. Yeah, dude. That one was really yeah. crazy because you know you. They were savages, yeah. You know, back in the That's day, how it was. they just That's killed how people. It was. Dude, kill the crazy you, part is like when they start they sacrificing people and they just toss them, and you're just like, what? yeah, they're just rolling yeah. down the freaking pyramid, right? You're like, what the heck? Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. Hey, have you it seen all crazy. those people who are like been going to the pyramids and like getting like booed and people are throwing stuff at them and they get, yeah, yeah. There was a guy recently and they just they they wanted to beat him up, but the security had to pull him out because uh, really? he he had walked up again, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to, right? Yeah, you're not supposed to. I think back in the day, they did that. uh, They stopped doing it like uh, a few years ago um, because people were falling. But also, too, it's kind of like to preserve the site, you know? Yeah, Um, Yeah, because then you'll start falling apart. Yeah. And then have you seen that what they've been doing with like LiDAR over the Amazon? Mm -hmm. And they've been taking pictures of it and finding like ruins and stuff. Yeah, like and, underneath the jungle, like yeah. underneath all the shit. Yeah. You, you're going to laugh about this. This is crazy. So remember a long time ago, I told you that like uh, my great, 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 great grandfather uh, was Francisco de, Lo- de Oreana. Mm-hmm. That dude's the one who wrote the books on the Amazon people that he found. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So if you look him up and everything, you, you see like how he would, he described like, um, all the people and the tribes that he had met and went through the whole Amazon or anything. Then like a hundred years later, like you don't find anything anymore. Everything's disappeared. And, um, that's how like my cousin found out. And that we're, that's literally our line, our family line, our Spaniard line. And it's mm-hmm. just weird. Cause I didn't know it was that guy, but yeah, he's a conquistador and stuff. So, mm. but that's why I always tell people, you know, my, my, my whole ancestry is just uh, of uh, killers and rapists and everything. Yeah, that's how they <laughs> used to be back Yeah, then, that's dude. all they were, dude. That's all they're, that's all they're I mean, they're crazy. That's how they took over everything. Yeah. Like, they just wanted to take over, uh, like, you know, different places and people. And, you know, it's yeah. always been the same corruption, yeah. power, money. Money. It's always. That's why I don't want to have money. Thing. I'll be all corrupted and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's the same now than what it is back then, except for, you know, they don't. Yeah. They don't act like savages. They just kind of have other people do the killing. Dude, it's be, crazy. I'd be above the great pope. Dude. Yeah, you would be the. <laughs> I'm telling you, you would be the brown pope. The poop. <laughs> the brown poop. <laughs> the brown. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. I'm gonna have to look into this. You gotta look into it. Thing. Yeah, that stuff is interesting because um, it, it's fact. It's it's not cap, bro. <laughs> it's not cap. It's not cap. It's not cap. <laughs> We, we need to start sounding cool. All right, All man. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. We're out.
Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.